Today in NBA 2K24, I am putting Steph Curry on every NBA team. As you can see, for example, we're with the Milwaukee Bucks here in NBA 2K24 with Steph Curry on the roster. Now, of course, Steph Curry plays for the Golden State Warriors in real life, not the Milwaukee Bucks. But that's today's video's challenge to put Steph Curry on every single NBA team and see how well each team would do with the addition of Steph Curry on the team. Would they do better? Would they do worse? Well, we don't really know, so let's find out here on 2K24. I think the Sixers are going to do really well, for example, and Bede, Maxi, and Paul George is, of course, good to start out with. Now you're adding Steph Curry onto the roster, too, and things are looking up for the Philadelphia 76ers. I think the Bucks have a good chance. Bulls, not so much, because the Bulls obviously just aren't the best team in general. The Cavs have really well-rounded out lineup and roster, so I think they have a chance. I don't even have to talk about the Celtics, because the Celtics literally just won the NBA Finals without Steph Curry, and now you're putting Steph Curry on this absolutely stacked roster. I mean, they have a really good shot at winning it all this year. Clippers not so much i think the grizzlies have a chance to be okay but i don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy hawks are definitely out of it he maybe but not really horn is definitely not jazz no kings i think could make some noise out west potentially if things go well for them the knicks have a really well-rounded roster so i think they definitely have a chance here with steph curry the lakers i don't know but i think it would be pretty interesting to see lebron curry and ad on the same roster i mean obviously they are on the same olympic roster here for the 2024 olympics but you know that's not in the nba curry still on the Warriors. LeBron and AD are of course still on the Lakers. Magic not so much. I think the Mavericks have a really good chance here to like make some noise. I mean Luka, Curry, Kyrie is uh, definitely a great trio. Nets not so much. We get the rest of it but the Nuggets I have to talk about too. I mean Jokic, Curry, Jamal Murray. This team's stacked. Either way I mean let's see how things play out here and something I do want to mention of course is also on the Golden State Warriors as a whole. Since they added Steph Curry to every single other team I thought it would be fair to add Steph Curry another version of Steph Curry to the Golden State Warriors roster. If I'm adding plus one to every other team they're all getting better without the warriors getting any better if i don't add steph curry onto this roster so here we have a number seven steph curry on the warriors too so we got two curries on the warriors let's see how this plays out here on 2k24 i'm gonna see you guys at the end of the season and let's hope for a great season with steph curry across the entire nba at the end of the season luka Doncic is your mvp so that means no curries won the mvp this season we got alexander star rookie of the year harden six man so that means the clippers start curry over james harden pretty interesting they should to start both of them but you know it is what it is uh, jaron jackson defensive player of the year and jalen johnson is your most improved player no curries on an all nba first team though we do end up with trey young on the all nba first team over curry with them on the hawks so that's pretty interesting second team no curries as well wow that's really shocking and no curries on the third team too so not a single curry made an all nba team that is definitely shocking obviously none of them are gonna make an all defensive team so that's crazy i don't know why victor's rookie of the year there i don't even know but either way let's try the player stats here first though for the our golden state warriors curries and then we'll go elsewhere so this one i was 26 4 and 5 this one i was 25 4 and 6 so pretty much you know the exact same numbers for both these curries on this team uh checking out their other teams let's check out the wizards 20 points three rebounds five assists trying to find like some common ground here 21 3 and 6 for the one on the sixers 21 3 and 6 so about 22 3 and 6 all around for all the curries 19 3 and 5 here obviously the Cavs are a much better team on the celtics 18 4 and 5 but obviously the celtics are just absolutely stacked on the clippers 25 4 and 5 so yeah i'd say about 23 points or so four rebounds five assists for about all the curries around the league just imagine you're on any team and you're adding a player that's averaging 24 4 and 5 on tier squad that's pretty good either way let's check the standings here at the end of the season because that's curious to see how well this would change the standings out in the western conference the thunder still top seed that's not shocking grizzlies second now mavs third lakers fourth so they did pretty okay as the kings like i said before i didn't say the kings were gonna win i said they were gonna do okay I'm gonna watch the video back <laughs> timberwolves was six warriors seventh nuggets eighth i'm just kind of shocked that the nuggets didn't do as well there rockets not so good spurs not so much clippers yeah that's not good i went to eastern conference the Cavs were the first seed i kind of expected that celtics the knicks sixers doing pretty good the pistons actually were the seventh seed i'm kind of shocked by that the bucks didn't do as good as i thought they were going to do miami not so much and uh, yeah so that's how things play out here for the standings in both conferences so let's simulate the playoffs here i do want to get some game action as the warriors get eliminated uh, and let's see how this plays out we're going to simulate the first round on both sides of the 
bracket. Let's see what happens. So we got the Thunder taking on the Lakers in the next round. The Timberwolves are going to be taking on the Nuggets. I'm kind of shocked that the Timberwolves actually beat the Mavs. I think the Mavericks were a little bit better. Nuggets beat the Grizzlies. Out in the Eastern Conference, though, the Cleveland Cavaliers actually just lost in, to the Milwaukee Bucks in a clean sweep. That's kind of shocking there. Also, let's see. The Sixers got eliminated, too. The Knicks have moved on, as well as the Celtics. I think out in the Eastern Conference, though, it would be the Celtics or the Knicks going all the way. And out here, I think, the, you know, the Thunder probably have a good chance. Let's see how this plays out here in the second round. And the Lakers actually moved on. Wow, the Lakers actually beat the Thunder here. Curry, 30 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists in the deciding game here for the Lakers. Curry on the Thunder, not so much. Only 16 points, 7 of 18 from the field, 2 of 11 from 3. Yikes. Out for the Timberwolves and the Nuggets. Curry on the Nuggets, 21, 4 and 10. So he did okay, but the Timberwolves still won. Curry, 20 points here. I also shot at Nazri the GOAT. In the Eastern Conference, the Knicks beat the Celtics in five games. I'm actually really shocked by that. The Celtics seems absolutely stacked, but Curry only had 20 in this one, 7 19. But this Curry on the New York Knicks there, 32, 2 and 2. That kind of makes sense why they went all the way. And the Bucks now have swept both the Cavs and the Magic in the first two rounds here. 30 points for Curry. Of course, I didn't even mention that Curry and Giannis are playing together. The Magic Curry did really well there, but let's see what happens here. Between the Knicks and the Bucks out in the Eastern Conference, out in the West, we got the Lakers and Timberwolves. I think the Lakers have a chance here. Let's see how this plays out between these two squads and i was wrong the timberwolves with the team that he's definitely should have gone to if you want me to do a simulation of curry's career with the timberwolves feel free to let me know down in the comment section below i'd love to do that western conference finals mvp steph curry 27 5 and 8 for him one steal a game also 39 percent from three very good for him out in the eastern conference the brunson won the eastern conference finals mvp 26 points for him so we had the knicks in the nba finals taking on the minnesota timberwolves let's check out the last game of each series though steph curry for the timberwolves 27 but also they were led by conley who dropped 31 23 minutes okay conley this game here 24 i mean the curry still did pretty good for the lakers there out in the eastern conference so the knicks just absolutely obliterating the pucks in four straight games 24 3 and 7 for curry in the deciding game number four for the bucks but either way we have the knicks and the Timberwolves here in the nba finals let's simulate this game one game at a time the knicks have one game one 39 for brunson 21 for curry that's crazy so did he fall out no he only played 25 minutes but he still had 21 points that's all that really matters curry on the timberwolves not looking so good nine points six assists four 12 one of five from three that's not too good so the knicks are up one game after one game here in the nba finals the timberwolves take game two randall with 25 for the knicks 19 for curry 21 for curry on the other end he's not playing that many minutes i kind of thought he'd be playing more conley's playing more minutes than him which is crazy and anthony Edwards drops 36 so he's now one one series after two and in game number three, the Timberwolves have won yet again. Anthony Edwards, 32. Nasri, 22. Gobert, 14, 18. Curry only had nine points in this one. He actually scored the least amount of points in every single person on this Timberwolves squad. So he shot 3 of 17 from the field. That's crazy. And 1 of 11 for 3. Not looking good for him. Curry, on the other hand, had 22 for the Knicks. Brunson at 42, but it wasn't enough as the Timberwolves take game three. Let's go to game number four here. And the Knicks have taken game four. So we got a series on our hands. Edwards, 30 points in this one. Towns at 23 curry 22 very good for him 30 for bronson and 26 for steph curry 2-2 series here let's go to game number five and the knicks have won game number five 141 to 111 bronson had 31 9 and 8 almost a triple double randall had 32 curry had 25 and 7 so he did very well also 7-11 from three for curry for the knicks he on the other end the timberwolves curry only had 12 points though so he's been kind of not doing so high here shot now read again we're now going to game six of the nba finals i do want to get some game action though so let's head into that right now we're hopping into game six of the nba finals with two minutes left to go in the ball game if the new york knicks win this game they will win the nba finals if they end up losing the timberwolves win will be forcing game seven out on the court for both ends is curry out on the left wing curry on the knicks is number seven on the timberwolves he is still of course number 30. mike conley he's got the ball for the minutes of timberwolves at the moment town's gonna be setting the screen can he get a shot off over jalen brunson Towns has to shoot over Dante DiVincenzo. He's going to miss. That could be a huge miss for the Timberwolves at the end of this ballgame. Curry inside to Dante DiVincenzo. Good defense by Towns, but DiVincenzo is still able to get the offensive rebound over him. We got 
Bridges here with the ball for the New York Knicks out to Sims at the moment. I don't know why Randall's not in. I guess Randall fouled out. Dante DiVincenzo for three. That could be the dagger. He's going to miss. That was a wide open three for the New York Knicks and Dante DiVincenzo. You get Anthony Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves at the moment. Going inside over Mikel Bridges. He's going to miss. He gets the offensive rebound. He's going to miss again. Sims with the rebound for the Knicks. Curry passes it up to Mikel Bridges at the moment. Going to kick it over to Jalen Brunson. Slow the ball game down. You got 50 three seconds to play with here between these two squads. Sims going to be setting screen on Mike Conley. Brunson inside over Steph Curry. Can pass out back to Dante DiVincenzo. Got Brunson in the corner. Jalen Brunson with the shot there. And he's going to hit that layup. 118-113. That's a huge shot for Jalen Brunson and Knicks as they go up five here. Now 35 seconds left to go in the ball game. Anthony Edwards, he's got the ball for the Timberwolves at the moment. Looks like Gobert's going to come over and set the screen. Bridge is trying to play some good defense on him. Edwards is going to attempt the three. No, he's not. Back out to Gobert. Pass over to Mike Conley at the top of the key. No, I was wrong. Gobert kind of just wasting time here. Curry for three. He's probably going to shoot it. I guess he's not shooting it right now. Two seconds left to go. Curry shoots the shot and he's going to miss. Sims with the rebound. And that's going to be it for these two squads because I'm telling you, the game is over now pretty much. Oh, Randall was just sitting on the bench. They had Sims out there. That's crazy. Bridges will be inbounding the ball for the New York Knicks at the moment. He's going to pass over to Brunson who Curry will commit the foul onto right there. 118-113. Brunson is going to be going to the free throw line. Can he hit the first free throw? And yes, he does. It's now 119 to 113 lead for the New York Knicks. Can he hit the second free throw and yes he does 120 to 113 we got a timeout by minnesota on the other end but you know things are not looking good i mean the odds of them coming back it's only seven points to at least just tie the game in 10 seconds is not looking too good at all for them but i want to see how things play out so you never know what's going to happen let's see we got mcdaniels will be inbounding the ball for the timberwolves at the moment i mean they had some wide open shots before him but they missed curry out in the corner he has to shoot it right away they're just not shooting at all mcdaniels for three he missed Misses. We got Brunson with rebound on the other end, and that is it. The New York Knicks have won the NBA Finals with the addition of Steph Curry onto their roster. I have added Steph Curry onto every single NBA team, and the team that has come out on top with the addition of Steph Curry onto their team is the New York Knicks. I said the New York Knicks were a very good team beforehand, just like in real life, but now with the addition of Steph Curry, they've gone a whole nother level, and they've won the NBA Finals over the Minnesota Timberwolves. We also did very well with the addition of Steph Curry, by the way. So if you all enjoyed today's video please sure to like subscribe for your content if you want me to do some any other players like Durant, you know Jokic, Luka feel free to let me know down in the comment section below I'm open to all your suggestions about players like this or any other ideas you might have for me that you'd be interested in me doing I'm also down to do a curry simulation of what if you get drafted by the Timberwolves instead of the Golden State Warriors if you're interested in seeing that like this video let me know down in the comment section below but not I hope you all have a great day and hope you all have a great day like the New York Knicks here as they won the NBA Finals Brunson is going to be holding up the NBA Finals trophy presented by Adam Silver and that's going to be it. I'll see you guys all in the next video and hope you all have a great day.